Hi guys, Steve here from Mega Music, and today we're having a look at the Axim Air Mini 32 from M Audio. It's a small, compact 32 key keyboard controller that comes with some software called Ignite, which I think is about the simplest way you can start making music on your computer. So, we're going to have a bit of a listen, explore it, and perhaps you'll be inspired to start making some music of your own. Once Ignite is installed and your Air Mini 32 is plugged in, you can open up Ignite and you'll see the Air Mini represented on your screen just like this. By default, the grand piano is ready to play straight away using the keyboard. So I'll go ahead and come up with a short loop. I'll click on the metronome here to give me my timing and I'll have a practice. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So I'll record it by hitting the shiny red record button. This creates a short clip, a loop in the arrangement area of Ignite. Okay, that hasn't come out the way I wanted. You can tell I'm not a great piano player, but that's no problem. You can edit the notes by clicking on the icon on the far right at the top, which allows you to see the MIDI notes I just played. You can move them, make them longer and shorter, softer and louder, and you'll hear the sound of the note as you drag them around, which is really handy. I'll go in and fix my playing up. That's better. I can now actually switch back and see my piano again. I can keep the clip playing and tweak the sound of the piano using the rotary controls, or I just call them knobs. As I move the controls on the Air Mini, they also move in the computer, and that's called mapping. So here I'm shaping my piano sound, things like tone, brightness, attack and more. I can get a bit of reverb happening to make it sound like I'm in a bigger hall. This capability is available on most of the instruments and sounds inside Ignite and is lots of fun to experiment with. Okay, let's get some drums going. This is where the instrument section of Ignite comes into play with heaps of instruments to choose from. I'm going into the drum section. There are your acoustic kits, but I'm looking for a more electronic sound, so electronic drums it is. When you highlight an instrument, you can then hit the add symbol and it gets loaded onto your menu to use in your song. You can also listen to all the sounds it makes. So I'm trying out a dance kit. And now an urban kit. Yeah, I like that one. Then I go ahead and play a basic beat using the Air Mini and record it. Alright, so I play that back. And that sounds quite good. Notice when the little clips are dragged next to each other, they form what Ignite calls a multi-clip, which can also be moved around itself. Alright, now to my personal favourite, the bass. It's all about the bass after all. So I'll listen to the acoustic bass sounds first. No, I'm not keen on those for this track. So let's listen to the synth basses. Not quite. Ah, uh, fat and flat. I like the title of this one. Let's have a listen. Yeah, that's more my thing. Now you could add your own bass line and play it on the keys like I've done so far. Or you could put in your MIDI notes like we did with the piano. But now I want to show you Ignite's Players feature, which is ideal if you're not sure what to play or need something new to inspire you. 
What Players does is automatically creates tunes and rhythms simply by hitting a single key on air. It's lots of fun and it means you don't have to be an expert musician at all to use Ignite. So I go back to the top and select the Players section for my synth bass and turn the Players switch to on. It lights up in blue at the top tab too. You'll also see these highlighted keys which give you automatic playing patterns to choose from. You can use them to select the pattern and your keys to select your root note. So I'll pick one and have a listen. Hmm, I might be able to find a better one. So I go to the drop down menu and have a look. Plenty of options. Let's try one called Dance 3. I'll record that. Great. And I'll go ahead and add some more instruments using some of those methods I've already shown you. A lovely synth pad sound, for example. Some shakers from the percussion section. Or a saxophone loop using players again. The sax sound in Ignite's pretty good too. Another important way Ignite can make music as well, of course, is the real music that you might want to sing and play yourself. You do this by selecting audio. I'll use the arrow to go back up into the menu and scroll around to audio. In this section you'll get a bunch of different effects that go with it, but I won't use those today. Now if you want to deal in audio a lot, say you're a singer or you play an instrument or have friends who do, then you really need to have an interface. It's a little box that helps process audio in and out of your computer. M-Audio, for example, have the M-Track series, which will help and allow you more control of your incoming sound. But for this example, I'm just going to use my laptop's inbuilt microphone. Now that I've selected audio as my input, simply hit record and clap like this. Play it back and you can see the audio in Ignite now. And now I have that multi-clip I talked about. I can also hit Command D and duplicate it and now I've got a song clip and you can make those as long and short as you want. Then I can edit any of my clips in the context of my song section. For example, I might want to make every second loop of the sax have something a bit different so I can edit the MIDI notes. I think that's a bit more interesting. You can also do a mix on Ignite, meaning you can balance the volume of all your clips to get a good sound. Click on the mixer and all the faders come up. Then I can control all my volumes. So let's quickly remix. Start by fading everything back to zero. And I'm gonna just show in fast motion. You can see I've started with my beat and faded everything up to the balance I want. Then I can also push the master volume as well. So I'm happy with that as a rough mix. I can also change the speed or tempo, or what we call BPM, like any self-respecting DJ would do. Don't forget you can solo and mute tracks, and even use Ignite to perform tracks or at least play around with different sounds as the music's playing. For example, I can change the sound of my synth pad while we're going along, and you'll hear that it changes the dynamic of the music. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and perhaps it inspired you to start making some music of your own. If you're interested in getting set up with the Axiom Air Mini 32 and Ignite, then just simply put one in your shopping cart. Or if you've got any questions here, you can ask them online. Alternatively, come into a Mega Music Store where our friendly staff will be able to help you with any questions you have. Take care, guys.